Hi, welcome to Simple Science at Home. I'm Miss Joanne and I'm going to do a color changing milk experiment with you today. And then you'll be able to try it at home. First, I always like to start with a tray, just in case I spill. You don't need the tray. If you have a cookie sheet, that will work too. Then you will need a bowl, a small container for soap, milk, whole milk or 2%, liquid soap, any kind will do, Q-tips, if you don't have Q-tips, not to worry, you can use toothpicks, and food coloring. First, you take your milk and you pour it into the bowl. We're gonna set up the experiment first. Okay, not too much milk is needed. Then you want to take your liquid soap and pour just a little bit, not too much, into the small container. Very little is needed. Then you want to take your food coloring and just put a couple drops of each color into the milk. I recap it as I go just in case it spills. You don't want to get food coloring on your kitchen table or your counter. And you could put all the, I like putting in all the colors, but you could put in whatever colors you want. I think it's more fun with all four colors. But if you don't have four colors and you just do one color, it will work just the same. Okay, now your experiment is set up. Now to actually do the experiment, you take your Q-tip or your toothpick and you put the end of it into the liquid soap. You don't need a lot and you take your Q-tip with the soap and you just gently touch the surface of the milk and you'll watch the colors move. You can turn it around and use the other side. You can put it into the milk or you can put it right into where the color is and you could do it again and again. You'll know when there's too much milk, uh, too much soap in the milk because the colors will stop moving. Alrighty, now that's how you set up your experiment and that's how you do the experiment. What I want you to do is I want you to, don't hit pause yet, but when you do, you're going to get a bowl, milk, food coloring, liquid soap, Q-tip or toothpicks, and a small container for the soap and a tray if you need one, and you will then do the experiment just as I did. When you're done, come on back, and I have a little bit more to tell you. Hit pause now. Welcome back. Did you have fun? Did your colors all mix and move? I hope they did. The reason behind the science is that the liquid soap, when added to the milk with food coloring in it, the soap reduces the surface tension of the milk and reacts with the fat in the milk. This interaction causes the fat particles to move and in turn 
causes the colors to move and mix as well. I hope you had a lot of fun doing this experiment with me. Have a great day.